Today we're making three ingredient keto chicken nuggets. And this is a favorite because it's only three ingredients and they're simple ingredients. There's no special ingredients in this. This one, no special ingredients at all. None whatsoever. Don't have to worry about it. Just get it all at the grocery store. How do we make three ingredient keto chicken nuggets? that are low carb, sugar-free, diabetic friendly, all that fun stuff, how do we do it? The first ingredient is canned shredded chicken. Now you can use your own chicken, obviously. You don't have to use the canned kind. If you're one of those people that just have to have fresh, not from the can, you do you. Not gonna stop you. You will need a can of canned chicken and I chose Valley Fresh 100% natural chicken breast with the rib meat in the broth. And I picked this one, well, it's gluten free, that helps. And there were not a lot of extra ingredients, no artificial ingredients, minimally processed, and it's certified by the American Heart Association, so we know it's good and there's no preservatives. This is 10 ounces of chicken, canned chicken. I know, I feel so bad saying that. The next ingredient is just one egg. Go out to your grocery store or chicken coop, if you will, and grab one egg. And the third ingredient is going to be shredded cheese. I highly recommend a neutral cheese for this recipe just so it takes on the flavor of whatever spices you put in there, whatever spices you choose to put in the three ingredient chicken nugget. And I usually work with mozzarella cheese, mozzarella cheese, mozzarella cheese, because it's usually the most versatile, it's the most neutral. Now, typically I will recommend hand shredding your cheese. Why do I recommend hand shredding cheese? Why? Why go through all the trouble of hand shredding cheese? Well, number one, it will melt better. Why is it going to melt better? Because your store-bought shredded cheese is coated with like a potato-y starchy starch. So it doesn't just become one big block when it gets to the grocery store and it arrives from whatever farm or factory or whatever. And so and that is going to add to the carb count. Hand shredded cheese just behaves better. So hand shredding cheese is highly recommended for any keto recipe. And the fourth ingredient, wait a minute, you said there was only three. Don't get mad. I did say there were only three ingredients. However, most humans like spices in their food. So for chicken nuggets, you can throw in some paprika, some garlic, some onion powder, salt, pepper, those, maybe some Italian seasonings. If you're like me, those are my staple spices. Just shake a little bit in there to make sure there is some flavor in there. If you prefer plain, that is so, that is so fine. I am not gonna shame you for not wanting spices. Some people just like plain stuff, like my daughter. She only eats plain everything. How do we make three ingredient keto chicken nuggets? Well, I will tell you. Preheat your oven for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Add all three ingredients plus spices into the bowl. Add all ingredients to a bowl and mix it well. You can use your hands or a spatula, whatever works best for you. And I like to use a small cookie scoop to make sure that I get the right amount. However, you can use a tablespoon. Using a small cookie scoop or tablespoon form about 10 mounds. And I like to make them nugget shape, but you don't have to. You don't even have to call them nuggets. You can just call them chicken fry, fritter fried. Ooh, you can make chicken fries with this. Oh, idea. Add the mounds to a parchment lined baking sheet or a silicone baking sheet 
or use one of those silicone baking sheet liners like I do. I like using the silicone baking sheet liner because it will prevent burns, prevent too much crisping, and I have a little bit more control over it. Bake for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and about halfway. So after 10 minutes, flip them over because we wanna have both sides crispy. Bake for 10 minutes, flip, and then bake an additional 10 minutes, both at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes about 10 nuggets and it's about one nut carb per nugget. And this is a super kid friendly recipe. If you've been searching for kid friendly keto recipes, this one is it. It's, you can't go wrong with chicken nuggets. This is also, I love to use this for holiday appetizers. You could bake so many of these and just put it out as an, a little appetizer, three ingredients, throw it together, and you look like a genius. First, are we still recording? Okay. Yep, we are still recording. <laughs> 